Welcome back to the channel guys. In this episode we're going to be talking about how we germinate our seeds and what we're going to be doing to getting them prepared for a hydroponic system. Okay guys, like I said, in this episode we're going to show you guys um, what we're doing differently from our first uh, germination process. Um, I've been doing some research on how to do it properly and more efficiently so we can have a better production in reference to our cilantro that we're going to be putting in our hydroponic system. As you can see, we, um, from where we had our hydroponic system, um, the tarp that we had wasn't um, letting enough light into our hydroponic system. So what we're going to be doing now is, um, or not today, but in this couple of days as we're waiting for the seeds to germinate, is to move over our hydroponic system, put a tarp over this section here, a one-sided tarp to be able to. What I'm gonna, what I'm thinking of doing is to have it um, come down and have a railing system so we can collect the water, so we don't have to use any of the water. Trying to stay off the grid as much as possible to see what efficient ways and be able to keep everything natural without any type of chlorine in the water. I know that there's a couple of ways that you can um, basically collect the water and leave the lid off and let the, the, you know, sometimes these tap waters they have chlorine in it. Let that water. Um, evaporate a little bit of the chlorine that's in the system so basically our germination process uh, we're going to show you some uh, video segments of what we're going to be doing is basically is cutting our cubes we bought out foam cubes um, to get in details in that is uh, we were planning on using the um, the rock wool cubes that they have but we're thinking okay it's a less cost to use a foam one and also for the cilantro since cilantro is not really that heavy um, so we're gonna use the, the, the foam cubes are smaller in size and they give us more for, for, the, for you know for less money so basically as I'm showing you in this video we're cutting the the cubes why we're doing this um, in our previous time that we used the, the the foam cubes when we were germinating and the foam was wet when we went to go tear apart to be able to put them in the hydroponic system um, the bottom of it were, were edged at an angle so basically when we put them in the the hydroponics tube or in our tube rail system they tipped over from the weight and it created problems for that um, then you would have to buy uh, neck cups in reference to keeping them standing upright, and it's just more of a hassle. So what we're doing now, we're going to cut the um, the foam cubes for the seeds. We're going to cut them, and we're going to go ahead and make sure that they have a straight edge on each side so we can have a better production in reference to when we have them in the hydroponic system. Now, and you can see in this video, we're going to be talking about how many seeds we're using in each cube okay now in our previous um, germination process I didn't do the germination process um, basically there were too many seeds inside of each cube so the plants they grew too much inside of one one you know one actual cube so we're gonna use we're gonna use three for the cilantros in the in the cubes so what is this gonna do we're gonna have availability to be able to select the best um, germination seeds the ones that come out the best so basically I want to end up with at least two stems off of each seed the, 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 the last one the third one what I would take out if it doesn't look proper and we'll eliminate that so we can have a better um, germination process um, the point of this is to be able to get more product for less amount of uh, you know products that you're using for your germination process. Um, you can use the cubes again. You just have to pick out whatever's inside, and um, you can use the cubes. You can recycle them. Um, just be careful that you don't damage it too much, so then you don't have any problems as they're in your hydroponic system. Okay. Now, so now that we um, showed you a couple of videos on how we're cutting them and how we're using, we're selecting the seeds and how many we're putting in there, um, 
Let's talk about how many days you have to wait, okay, in reference to um, the proper time to transfer them into your hydroponic system. And we're also going to talk about how much sunlight this, this uh, needs. Okay, so basically we have, as you can see in the video, we have a, a rectangular germination pod. Basically, I don't have the lid for that because I didn't purchase it. I didn't think I needed it, but I am going to go purchase it this week. So we're going to use it. Um, why am I going to use this lid on this? We're going to try to create a greenhouse effect to be able to get it as hot as possible in there and to be able to leave it outside in direct sunlight throughout the whole entire day within the 15 days that it needs to be able to properly germinate and we can then transfer them into our system. So why we're doing this because in our last germination process with our chard and our lettuce what we encountered is that we left it in the shade now by us leaving it in the shade it created a problem that the plants didn't grow i feel that they didn't grow strong enough and they also didn't collect um, enough sunlight to be able to grow properly and to be able to come sprout out and give us a good uh, germination process so now in this video you guys from this point on you're going to see us that we've done some modifications to our system we've done changes to our our our, our, our procedures to be able to get our, our better products and then you guys can see throughout this process on how it goes for us so you can go ahead and learn off for those videos now um you know it takes about 15 days take that into account you know your germination process can take anywhere from 15 to 20 days depending on the seedlings that you're using okay and make sure that your plants have rooted out this is very important this is why we're cutting them ahead of time to keep so we don't damage any root system off of our plants so Cut them so you don't have any interruptions with your roots and make sure that you have a good uh, root growth in your, in your germination. Once you have, you see a little bit of white roots coming off the edge, it should be proper enough to you to be transferred over to your system. Now you don't have to use any nutrients guys. All you have to do is just simply put water into the foam into your little, um, however you're going to, whatever you're going to use, just put enough water where the the um, the foam cubes have enough water to sustain the roots and be able to uh, germinate and sprout out. That should be good enough. Make sure you leave it outside, covered, so it gathers enough sunlight. Or leave it next to your window seal, wherever you can leave it that is collecting at least six to eight hours a day of pure sunlight, direct sunlight, to be able to grow these plants properly and they get that vitamin E that we all need in these plants to be able to grow properly. So we've talked about you know what to do to, with your cubes, how many seeds to use, anywhere from two to three seeds in your cubes, okay? Make sure that they're getting good, good amount of sunlight, direct sunlight, guys. I mean, sometimes we know we have cloudy days, but the more sunlight they get, I feel that we're gonna see in this process, they're gonna grow much better in your germination process, a lot healthier. Now, in our next video, we're gonna show you guys, you know, the the growth between those uh, germination process, and we're also going to talk about when we're transferring them into the system, things that we need to keep a lookout for in reference to that. Okay. Um, in the next couple of videos, like I said before, we're going to be switching. Over. We're not going to be switching. We're going to continue to use this hydroponic system that we created for our cilantro. The other. Um, well, we talked about the aeroponic system that we're going to be creating in the next couple of weeks. We're going to use that for our lettuce. We're going to try to grow a couple of di on the um, the butter butter something uh, lettuce. We're going to go to uh, tropical lettuce. We're going to try to grow a couple of different lettuce to see how that goes. On um, the chard. I'm thinking about um, a different type of system for the chard. We might use the aeroponic system with the bucket, but I'm gonna see, I'm gonna try something out for the chard so it grows a little bit better and we can have a better keep everything separate. Let's talk about that a little bit before we end the video. Having your I, I think I mentioned this before about the nutrients that you're using for your plants. Every there you know you can use lettuce uh, nutrients for leafy greens and basically by you having this this nutrients if you have everything separate let me get to that if you have everything separate you can regulate 
the how much ppm how many nutrient levels are in each individual sections that you have if you have everything on the same they can all react differently to the different types of nutrients so that's why we're going to separate everything make sure that we have everything separate have different amounts of ppm levels in each different system so we can have a better production with our lettuce our chard or even our cilantro or any other things that we're going to be growing in the future so <clears throat> I hope this video helps you guys out. Remember to like our videos, subscribe down in the subscribe section. If you have any com comments or any questions, leave them down below, guys, so I can go ahead and answer your questions. Any recommendations you guys may have, make sure you leave that down in the comments section. Thank you very much for watching the video. See you on the next round.